Christians and concert goers clash at a controversial concert in Jackson. We'll have more on the aftermath of Death Fest 1. Plus, the rain hasn't dampened everyone's spirits at this year's Michigan Festival. Those stories plus Darren will be in to tell us when it'll all clear up when we come back. Lucifer's Hammer, Sacrifice, and Morbid Angel at a controversial concert in Jackson tonight. Death Fest 1 has made its debut despite the fact that some say the music contains satanic messages. As Sheila Smoot tells us tonight, concert goers packed into the Optimist Sports Arena, but not before they were told that Jesus loves them. Promoters of Death Fest 1 say the heavy metal bands that are on the concert lineup are just that, bands, and not worshipers of Satan. Members of the Jackson for Jesus committee say the music is fine, but it's the lyrics that talk of death and dying that has them concerned. So concerned that members came out to spread what they call a message about life. We love music ourselves. In fact, we got a great thing going next weekend with a lot of Christian bands. It's the lyrics in the songs. I'm on the highway to hell. I mean, come on. I want I don't want to go there. Uh, and I don't want to see any of these guys go there. Those who stood in line were treated to different lyrics today as they waited for the doors of Death Fest to open, as Jackson for Jesus members sang songs of religion. At times, there were some verbal clashes by concert goers, but mainly it was just a clash in ideas and beliefs. If we're out there preaching for Satan, like they're preaching for God, we'd be thrown in jail. We'd be, we'd be out of here. They'd arrest us. I don't think it's fair that they can come and try to ruin our show like this. Sometimes there's a kid who may, may commit a murder because he listened to an album and he says he did it in the name of Satan, but come on, you know, that's, that's like one in, one in a million maybe. Now they have the point, yeah, but we have ours too and they won't listen. Sheila Smoot, TV 10 Action News, Jackson. Biggest death metal concerts in the Midwest, and with it came plenty of controversy. But when the band stopped playing in Jackson's Death Fest 1 last night, well, so did the controversy. For about an hour before the concert, Christians gathered outside to spread their message of God. Some of them claimed that death metal promoted Satanism. They handed out literature, but were asked to stay clear of the arena. The motor said the music had no satanic overtones and they had no problems during the eight-hour event. 1,500 tickets were sold, but only 500 were in line when the doors opened. Right now, there are no plans for Death Fest 2.